spring. How do I do this? Poland. Okay, Richard, let's go ahead and start. Ready, Centurion, welcome. Oh wait, I'll say that after Ricky starts. Okay, hello, welcome to the weekly mobile Mozilla support meeting where we talk about support for Firefox for Android and Firefox OS. Thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you Richard and Satdav uh, and the guys who set up Air Mozilla for us. Hello everyone on Air Mozilla. Centurion, nice to see you in the etherpad. Please add any questions or comments you have there and we will try to get to them. This is just a 30 minute sync up that we do every single week. So let's get started. Uh, let's see, Act, previous action items. Michelle to review the dashboard and post what is the strategy. So the strategy for version 1.1 documentation is what we're talking about here. We want to um, try to localize the top 10 articles plus the what's new article that gives us um, the overview of the new big features in version 1.1 for Firefox OS. So I did look at the Google Analytics and um, reviewed the top 10, top 20 articles uh, for Spanish, where we have the most Firefox OS users right now. And most of it, I think, are multimedia apps. So um, we should put out a new list of the top 10, at least uh, for Spanish, and then also look into the Polish articles as well. So that's work in progress. Any questions on that topic or something more I should do? Yes, Michael? Well, not really a question, but um, I put it farther down farther. under Firefox OS. Hermina and I, Hermina and I talked last week. Um, uh, and this, I'm working on the Firefox OS documentation and 1.1 and re reviewing the existing articles. So I, I put the kind of to-do list that I'm working on down there. Okay, great. Uh, great, so that's the second action item was that you and Hermina were gonna meet about what to do. So great, thanks for doing that. Um, and then you said maybe we'll get to titling and topics for this meeting. We'll see. It was an exciting week. So um, we'll see if we talk about that. We should probably talk about your list otherwise. Um, get people a sense for what the list means first. Uh, we don't have an update from Naoki for QA this week or for Firefox for Android, but um, maybe we can ping him and ask him to put some updates into the Etherpad when he has a chance always very busy in QA. Uh, so B to G Firefox OS, we did have system updates offered to all the uh, eBay phones and this was this has been going on more than a week. I think we talked about this last week um, and they do fail down uh, pretty ungracefully and the update from this morning is they've been taken down. So. We will no longer have anyone experiencing this um, failure to update. It wasn't causing a problem with uh, the phone working. It just had to be rebooted um, and didn't actually apply the updates. So they have been pulled down, which is great. That just happened this morning. And I can see on my phone that when I check for updates that 
system update no longer appears, which is great. So I want to thank everyone on the forums for all your help over the last week um, to send me forum threads that hadn't been uh, resolved and let me know what's going on out there and responding to people. I really, really appreciate your help on the English forum this week. Andrew, Philip, and others, uh, you guys are amazing. So thanks so very much for your help with this issue. Um, so some more information is there are a couple users who, you know, tried to download or got stuck during the download and then somehow bricked their phones. So um, there are two packages available for these eBay phones that people can use to restore and get out of their situation. And I think at least one user has had success with this. Uh, with restoring their phones, so we should get this information into the forum. Uh, there are, I think, three threads on the system update. And then I also have word from ZTE this morning that they will prepare another set of um, packages for the users to get fast boot, because the goal of this system update was to get fast boot on the phones. Uh, so developers can really use them to test things um, and roll their own. So they're going to prepare a separate package and provide us the URL and then we can document that um, for people who want fast boot. Questions about this issue or other things you think we need to do or anything you're hearing about this? Now, just to add that, for sure, we'll have to document that and to have it to have it in, in an article or something for people who would like to do this. And I've seen there was a request from 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 an engineer as well about it. So just wanted to to make sure that everybody who's here agrees that we we have to to have it documented. Yes, we all agree about for, this CTE update thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. We'll be taking it uh, offline and discuss it tomorrow as well, Michael. But just yeah. to give you a up, this is type of issue that we really have to to have documented really fast. Yep. Mm -hmm. cool. Well, and it's gone on too long. We should have had this information earlier. But this is sort of the. Um, I mean, this is the first updates uh, that we've had last week uh, for ZT and for the Alcatel. So we're figuring it out. Um, Thanks for your patience and your help to get these updates on the forum and into the KB. Uh, there are a couple press articles yesterday, about 100,000 uh, ZTE open sold from ZTE themselves. So that's extremely exciting. Congratulations to everyone um, on this team and all the contributors who made this 1.0 possible. Uh, this is your success as well and um, so I wanted to mention it and thanks uh, to whoever put the link into the etherpad it's very exciting stuff uh, Michael you want to give your update on documentation you talked about this for a minute before but you can uh, give a sense for contributors of what you guys discussed last week yep so um, so we're you know we're getting there's getting ready for 1.1 and getting things localized. Uh, we have new new locales coming and stuff. Um, so uh, one thing I want to do as quickly as possible is go through the existing content. Um, there are things that definitely can be consolidated. Um, I don't know if there are things, for instance, that are missing, um, but um, also things like um, looking at titles and summaries, making sure that um, they all, that all the articles have good titles and summaries, um, just a kind of review of all the existing content and see if there's any um, easy uh, uh, fixes that we can do before um, uh, setting things uh, ready for localization. Um, also part of that is, um, of course, you can't localize everything all at once. So uh, you talked about uh, looking at 10 to 20 um, articles in 
looking at locales like Spanish or um, Polish and, and see um, if there's how, how different they are from English. Um, there's also, there'll be a difference between um, locales that have 101 and those that have 1.1 or those that will get an update to 1.1. So like if you're getting an update to 1.1, you wanna know what's new. Uh, if you launch with 1.1, it's that's how it is. You don't need a what's new. Um, and, and so it might be a one or two article difference between places that are updating to 1.1 versus those that have uh, that launch with it. Kind of thing. Um, and then um, farther down the road, we have um, uh, we had done research for um, a, a new information architecture for Firefox OS. Um, that um, is waiting, ready to go. So we should uh, implement that at some point. Also, so those are the things that Hermine and I talked about um, mainly last week. It's not all stuff achievable in one week, so we'll be, it'll be ongoing. Oh, so. come on. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, thank you. Thanks for working sure, see you'll together. Be done in an hour. Yeah. Uh, uh oh, someone's getting a call on their, on their uh, Firefox OS phone. Roland, yes. Love that ringer. Okay. Um, so other help article stuff for 1.1. So I had sent my um, brain dump to Hermina and Michael. So I put that in the Etherpad. Contributors can work on this stuff, I think. Um, you know, some of the UX for the USB mass storage is a little confusing. We've already had some questions about this from people running 1.1 on Geek's phone um, in the forums and in input. Um, the the everything.me, the adaptive, I should put adaptive, um, adaptive search is um, moving to the home screen in 1.1. So um, I don't know if this requires documentation, but um, we might want to add a screenshot for people, um, for contributors also who are answering questions so they're aware of it in case they don't have phones. Um, it's, it's enough of a difference, I thought it should be called out. Um, and for Hermina and Michael, the contributors that we have who are working at everything.me, working on their documentation, related to information architecture, they would like a topic just for their articles. So you guys should figure out if that makes sense and um, and probably have a sync up with them to see how they're doing for 1.1. We haven't had a lot of questions, um, but maybe that's because they're on the left swipe right now. Um, and then um, we will have new devices that need to be added and um, into the help articles. So, uh, so and probably <clears throat> also images. I mean, we have those in the getting started article now. And, um, and then there's a link, of course, to all the other stuff that's new um, in, in that what's new article. And you can decide what to do with it, but at least call out the things I think at least for MMS and uh, some of the other uh, big ticket items like downloading images and audio from the browser, which are awesome new features we want people to know about, especially people in using 1.0.1 who haven't had um, those capabilities. We'll want to go back and update forum threads uh, with the new information for them. Uh, particularly in the Spanish forum. Uh, so contributors are welcome to work on that stuff as well. Um, feel free to ask questions. Tyler's not here for feedback, uh, but Hermina um, has also been looking at the numbers for feedback from input and forums for the last month. And um, I think our positive stuff is still simplicity and speed. And there's one other, Hermina. Uh, yes, positive. Top three. Yeah. Uh, it was um, 
simplicity, speed, uh, and the general one. So the general one is the is the bigger actually. Oh right. So this is uh, with people that just good. Yeah. congratulating us or being happy with Firefox yeah. OS in general. Uh, and one thing I'd like to highlight here is that our feedback numbers increased a lot in the last months, which is we are thrilled about this. So we, we got to almost 1000 pieces of feedback in just one month. Um, just to make a, compa a comparison, so do you, you understand what I mean? We started with 200, so this means that people are getting more and more interested in it, and uh, we get lots of feedback, and this is this is good. Uh, and we are working on the report, which I'm going to share with you probably tomorrow or uh, or on Monday with uh, with Michelle. Great, and so the negatives are some freezing and hangs. Um, where it gets stuck. Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Responsiveness. The ringtone. Or like when you touch it, how it responds. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. It's not. It's not only about the touch screen. Touch screen is in a separate one, and it's still negative as well. Touch screen, but responsiveness is about like uh, every time that the phone it you know takes a long a long time to to load or it gets stuck or uh, it just doesn't uh, we are in an app and it doesn't respond like the back button or things like this so um, yeah it was responsiveness ringtones the fact that people are unable to personalize their ringtones uh and there was something else uh and of course like whatsapp we heard about it before so we are still hearing uh, things uh, on whatsapp but people are also interested in line in instagram instagram is uh, is a new thing they're requesting in first month we didn't hear about it now we we have lots of feedback on this yeah and uh and that's uh, that's it great I always forget ringtones because I like the default ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know how many of you um, got to see the feedback from the, the user research project from Columbia, but um, uh, Michelle, maybe, um, I think Ralph saw it yesterday, but Michelle, maybe you might want to talk to Mary Twombly about doing um, uh, a presentation or maybe a shorter version of that for this meeting because it was super awesome and informative and one thing that also maybe contributors people with devices can do like one of the biggest um, problem uh, issues for people after using the phone for a while was the keyboard so the responsiveness and accuracy of the keyboard but um, people from UX in the meeting I don't know Ralph if you remember who this was um, we're, we're asking specifically for help with the keyboard, like especially in uh, languages other than English, are there characters in the right spot? Like the ones that you need to find, are they easy to find or are they a pain in the butt? Um, what is it specifically about the keyboard that um, is hard to use or frustrating in any language? Those were things that they're really looking for feedback on because um, it was a pretty, it was like the thing that people were like, I love this phone. And then they were like, and the keyboard is making me want to throw it against the wall. One guy in Columbia <laughs> was saying, so they're really looking at like, how can we, it's something that we've been working on, but they were like, help us. <laughs> yeah, if you want to put uh, uh, like the, the tilde, I don't know what the accent thing that we have in Spanish. Uh, usually in Android and iPhone is just by pressing and holding and that concept doesn't work nicely on, on Firefox OS. I, yeah, I found the keyword, it's one of the things that is challenging. Yeah, maybe there is some way we can also provide some tips. That's a good one. I put that in anything else. I think that's a great idea, Michael, to have her come and talk. Um, because it was specifically for version one that one that they tested. So it'd be really helpful for all of us and contributors to know what's coming um, with the, uh, I mean, for the Alcatel device in particular. Um, okay, we're running out of time. Firefox, we're Android rolling. You wanna give 
just an update on what's going on in Android land, how the release went. The release is great Thanks so far. Coming. The release is great so far. We <laughs> still have one bug left on Nexus 10, uh, Android 4.3, which okay. the development team hopefully will be fixed in the 25 beta soon. Um, Michael and I are working on Firefox 25 updates. There's an ether pad. I would love it if someone could triple check and make sure I haven't missed any article that needs to be updated because we changed the settings. Um, and there was a Firefox for Android work week. Last week in Toronto, Mark Finkel blocked about it. Mark Finkel is the manager of the Firefox Android front end team. Um, his counterpart on the back end or the platform is Brad Lassie. He was there. It was great to meet the team. I gave a little uh, five slide presentation about Sumo and um, I have some thoughts in progress. But one of the things that I came up with is that the Android team is looking for experiments and um, ideas for on features that we should fix or polish or brand new features, crazy features. They're willing to try it. So if you're interested, please email me or talk to the developers directly in Pound Mobile and IRC. Okay, thank you. Well, and I was looking at, um, and we were we were getting, you know, these the numbers together. And I know um, Kadir, he, we talked yesterday about separating dashboards by product, so we can see, you know, the numbers of forum questions for the different products. But um, I also want to give an awesome three cheers for um, all the people who help with Android questions. Uh, there's actually quite a large number and an ever increasing number of questions about Firefox for Android on the forums. I mean, it looks like it's about, I don't know, a few hundred a month um, and uh, that contributors are helping with. So so thanks for everyone for your hard work answering Firefox for Android questions. As oh, yes, always yes, yes, always. Thank things. you. And tomorrow is the help article day or is it? No, I don't remember. It's either the help article day or it's the questions day, forum quick day. <laughs> Sumo day on my calendar. I think it might be help article day tomorrow. <laughs> help article day. Well, there's the nice changes list, of course. There's that etherpad, about 25. Um, you can help out there. Um, there's lots of things to do. <laughs> but thank you. There is also the, the persona testing that you can use the Sumo day or test all the persona flows that are pending for review, particularly right, mobile. On your uh, Firefox OS device and on your Firefox or Android, please Yes. Test. Oh, yes, test persona. <clears throat> I'll put that in anything else. And this is, but this is just on Alizon, right? Yes. So. All right. Uh, Kadir, did you have something to say? Yeah, about persona we are doing. We're going to have a go no go meeting on Friday. You should have gotten the invitations uh, during this meeting. Uh, so we will make sure that we all feel good about it before we say go um, persona. So no surprises. Yeah. Great. I think we got some more testing done yesterday, so that's good. But if you haven't tested persona on your mobile on Amazon, please, please do. And even if you did, please do again, because we put uh, fixes in there for the issues that came up. Uh, Ricky has been great about that. He's been fixing them uh, promptly. Uh, so even if you ran into issues, uh, even if you have tested it already, please do it again. Don't okay, worry. Today, perfect. Can you put that etherpad into, the, into yes. this etherpad? <laughs> uh, I put it under anything else. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Are there any other updates for Mozilla's mobile support this week? All right. I will see you all next week, same time, same place. Thanks for all you do. Ciao. Cheers. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right.